Hey, hey Barry friends. friends. Hey, guys, we're all back on the road. East Coast this time. East Coast. We're doing uh, Baltimore, Baltimore and Philly. By the way, Philly. we're already coming to Montclair and Port Chester. We'll be in Jersey and New York, but they're totally sold out. But Baltimore, a few tickets left. Philly, a few tickets left. And Toronto, the second late show. show. The second show in Toronto. The late show in Toronto has a few tickets left. And by the way, just want to say I'm sorry for after Toronto. We're having to reschedule Rochester, Northfield, and Pittsburgh. They're going to be scheduled to September. You can get your money back, obviously, if you can't do it in September. September, but we're going to be coming in September. We're so sorry. We're doing fall dates, about to be announced, uh, but we have to reschedule Rochester, Northfield, and Pittsburgh to September 14, 15, and 16. Um, if you want your money back, they'll refund your money. Otherwise, you can use it for the show, but we're coming to see you. So Philly and Baltimore and Late Show Toronto, come see come, us, come baby. See us, come Go see to badfriendspod.com. Badfriendspod.com. You two are bad friends. Who are these two idiots? White dude and an Asian dude. You two are something. We're bad friends. Look who's here. Look who's here. Look who's here. Look who's here. Woo-hoo. Look who's here. Look who's here. It's a look who's here. Look who's here. Yeehaw! The mystery of jewels. The mystery of jewels returns She's to here. bad friends. Let's give yeah. it up one time for Rudy Jules. Yeah. Welcome back, Jack. She looks like a poo beetle. A little poo beetle. A little peetle. <laughs> Look at her. Hi, Tito Bobby. Hey, hey poo beetle. Hi, Tito Andrew. Hi, she got her hair cut and everything. Whoa. Well, she's got. She's an American now, right? No. Boyfriend. A year. They've been dating a, for a year. one year. Yeah. Wow. College. A white college. You love white colleges. All now. whites. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All whites. It's an Aryan college. What's it called? Mm. Hi. That's what it's called? <laughs> yeah. 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 What is it called? No, we're not going to say what it's called. We don't want to yeah, say yeah, what yeah, yeah. She said she got recognized on campus. If there was a high, high college, what was it, what's the like fraternities and sororities like? <laughs> the hazing must be crazy. Yeah, it is. You got to drink a drink a, <laughs> yeah. a bucket of uh, beetle poop, beetle poop juice. Yeah. Yeah. Rudy what's Jules, up, Rude? tell us what's going on. Um. <laughs> there we go. This is what we're... <laughs> We're waiting for your stories, really, to be honest with you. Dude, we're so excited. And I know you prepared a bunch of stories for the show today. Yeah, tell us a story. Well, (laughs) during the spring semester, I was taking organic chemistry. Uh Mm. And I hated that class so much. Like... I kept getting C's. Mm-hmm. Mm. C's get degrees. Yeah, don't and forget. I, and I thought I was going to fail. And so I was really stressed. So that's why I cut my hair because I need, needed like control. Oh, are you, oh, are you, are you also? That's a version of cutting? Are you yeah. cutting? Yeah. Uh, no, not cutting. No cutting. <laughs> Just cutting my hair. Cutting your hair. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what these, this generation, we, our generation, we were hardcore. Skin. Sick, <laughs> them. Oh but that's like, <laughs> <laughs> that's like so, um, so 90s? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, we're old, okay? For us, and it we're was We're a tougher generation. We are. Remember, well, I'm a generation above you. You're Several. Two, maybe. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm not a baby boomer. You you're thought a, I was a baby boomer. You're a boomer. X. Whatever, boomer. X, You're dog. a boomer, dog. Nah, dude. I'm on the corner of millennial and what's the other one? I'm on the... What's the other one between them? Uh, it's Gen X? Yeah. No, no. He's Gen X. Gen I'm millennial y. and one more. Y. Gen Y? No, I think you're ex. I think Bobby is trying to sneak into. You're that a one. boomer, dog. <laughs> yeah. Don't try to sneak down by us. 1971 is X. Look it up. He might, anyway, he might be right. Actually, I am. Yeah. I already know. I know what generation I am. Dude. Generation X. Generation X, dude. Pepsi Max. Dude, if I was a baby, where I'd to kill myself. No, you wouldn't. I'd be living. No, you would. You'd be living be a rich. dream life, yeah. dude. You'd be living a dream life. Uh, so listen up here, uh, Gen Z. Is she Gen Z? Yeah. Listen up, Gen Z. Yeah. You're going to school. You can't get C's anymore. How did you flip it around? I don't know. I got like a really bad score in the final, but I guess the no teacher... child left behind. No biology, is it you said? Chemistry. Oh uh, well, we know about chemistry. Sure we do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We know about the. You and I got it, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Give me a chemical composition. Yeah, composition it up. Let's hear. Give me a mineral. C six H twelve O six. Whoa. Whoa, that's my phone number. <laughs> Uh, no, that's uh, Bobby's age on his dating profile. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, I don't know anything about chemistry, but um, same. Can you make meth? Yeah, you can with OCHEM. Like you can do like stuff with the well, lab. Dude, you, you do you have enough knowledge? No, for, I do, not me. I don't know. No, you give us the knowledge. Yes. We have the lab. Yeah, we got the lab. I have the what? lab mm-hmm. procedures. Wait, can... wait, 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 stop, stop. What are you saying? Like we have procedures and we just follow. Oh, and we can where? Where is it at? 
I have it at the house. At your house. I'll just give it to you. Bring it here. Bring it here. We'll make meth. I want this studio to be a meth lab as well. That yeah, back room yeah, is huge. Huge. And it's got a ventilation system. And we won't do it. Yeah, we yeah, won't. We will. Yeah, we won't. No, we won't. No, we won't. So you learned what in chem? I told you, I don't know anything. Oh, I yeah. hate you, the class. You, how about this? Can you make cyanide? Is that chemistry? What's the thing that melts people's I mean, bones? The thing that, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, I want to know that one. Well, that's the one we want. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know where they melt people down? Did yeah. they tell you that in class? Yeah, but I don't know. I don't remember the name. That's that chemical. You know, you know, like that guy that dipped it. You can, you can, oh, lie. Yeah, lie, boiling temperature water. Lie is basically the alternative name for highly strong base, NaOH, historically KOH. Mm. But using high concentration of lie, human body can melt. Try we can it. melt a body and lie. Dude, that- Fight Club. Huh? What? Fight Club. When he Fight Club, that's right. Oh, yeah, lie on the hand. Hey. Can you get us some N A O H, baby? I'll steal it for you. Yeah, yeah. that would be a good like uh, villain name. N A O H. Lie. Oh, lie. <laughs> <laughs> is it N-A-O-H. is it Mister Lie or Sir? Or you, it yeah. can't just be lie. It's got to be something. Yeah. Uh, Monjour lie. Monjour lie. Uh, yeah, or something like that. Ooh, right? Yeah. Is that good? What's monjour mean? I don't. I think it was bonjour, <laughs> Mister. <laughs> I can beat that up. Hello <laughs> and sir. I throw it out there. We'll Monjour see. Lie. Monjour lie. And somebody at home who's an artist, please create a Monjour lie uh, <laughs> yes, art piece. Yeah. And make Rudy in the background mixing the chemicals. So you well, let me ask you us. about lie real quick though. Hmm. Why, why do you want it? Why do you need that? You can melt a human body. Why would you need it though? Get rid of a body. <laughs> hey, you have one. I got. <laughs> you got body. Look. Yeah. You cut me off in traffic in LA, mm. you're gonna end up in a bucket of lime, buddy. Yeah. No, I don't have one, but if you and I need one, just in case. Well, it so it melts bone? It disintegrates an entire human body. Dogs too? <laughs> you got some dog bones laying around? Yeah. <laughs> late night, little I late got night some snack. Hungry left, right? Cut it out, Rudy. Cut it out. Cut it out. Cut it out. What it's about enough. um is battery acid that's not chemistry, is it? <laughs> No, no. <laughs> Battery acid you have access to. You, but, you know, the, the kind you could throw on people's face. You could do that with a bunch of batteries if you empty double D batteries out, right? I don't Isn't know that? how to do that, though. Well, she should you know. You need gloves, probably. Don't you know how to empty out battery acid? No. What the fuck are they teaching you in school <laughs> yeah, anyway? what are they teaching you? I'm Here telling you, go. you, I can't understand it. Old toothbrush dipped in vinegar or lemon mm. juice gets the job done. What is that? What? Wow. Old toothbrush how to clean battery vinegar acid. gets the job done. That's that's a commercial. That'd be a cool old commercial. toothbrush dipped in vinegar gets the job done. <laughs> do you have? <laughs> do you or someone you know have battery acid stains on your clothes? <laughs> you can get it out. Yeah, Monsieur Lai to the rescue. Because <laughs> I always thought it was sad. Like in India, that was a way of like you know they would throw it on battery acid on women's faces. Women who, oh like, my yeah. god, it's terrible. Oh. If, you're, if your wife, yeah. right, it's like, if like the woman like uh, fell in love with somebody else or like left you, they would, uh, yeah, they would throw battery acid it's on insane. them. It's insane. It's disgusting. Would so, bleach be the same as battery acid? Bleach and battery acid are not the same. No, no. not but at all. But like the pain. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Have you ever gotten bleach on your skin before? No. No, it's not painful. It's just kind of stingy. It's stingy. Oh. Battery acid eats eat your skin away. It like <laughs> show me somebody who has had battery acid oh on their God. face. No, no, no. I want to see it. We all, she needs to learn. You got to teach her. The school's obviously not doing anything. If you get battery acid on your skin, it can, it just deteriorates your face. Look at that. It rips uh, your it rips skin your, off. You look at that guy. Oh. That looks that's cool on him. Though. See that's that's Monsieur Lot. Yeah. And he catches revenge. That so, one. Let's tell the tale. Whoa. Oh boy. Oh boy. Whoa. Hey. Oh, Whoa. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What do you mean? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's Mr. Lie. <laughs> that is Lie. And he removes. Bonjour, mo- Lie. Bonjour, Lie. Yeah, and, that's him. And he removes the mask. That's not a mask. What are those things? <laughs> you just put fucking. Sh- that's so, holding his eyes in place. No, I think I think that's like stuff he puts it on to moisturize it. No, there's like two lines going through by his ear and below his ne- by his below his ear. Those are called glasses. To give the skin in. Oh, that's it is a mask, you're that's right. A full on mask. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Don't insult Monsieur Lai. Uh, sorry. Monsieur Lai. But Lye. that's cool. What a cool mask. When he takes that off, what happens? The kids are like, ah! <laughs> dude, all you right. scare someone to death. Wow, what a ter- you know, I would get probably get battery acid enough just to look like seal. Kiss from a rose. Yeah, that's a cool you know no? that, that's what Kiss from a Rose was about? Him what? getting battery acid thrown on him. In the streets of Paris? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, by Monsieur Lai. Is that what himself. they call Monsieur Lai? 
What was that from? Was it just maybe like acne? acne scars? Is that what it was originally from? By the way, this guy didn't slow him down even. He married, no. what's her name? Heidi Klum. Heidi Klum, come on. He killed it, that guy. It's unbelievable. Yeah. He's still killing. There's no way he's not. It's the only song I know, but it's a There's gone. so much a man can tell you, so much he can say. So DLE is a disfiguring disease. He had a disease. Oh, man. Oh, Poor guy. Sad, the immune man. cells attack the skin from underneath, creating inflammatory areas and scarring the scalp, ears, face, and sometimes chest and arms. Why? Where does he? You know, when they say Asians are yellow. Sure are. I don't look yellow. You're not Asian. I don't look yellow. You're. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? You know. This is the kind. That's climbing a tree. You are still. You're a darker. You're a dark yellow. Yeah. But why do they say? What are you saying? I don't look yellow. Yeah, you do. We've gone over this a hundred times. The shirt that you're wearing blends in. I, it looks Absolutely. like you're wearing a long sleeve right now. I actually can't tell if you're wearing it's a long silly sleeve. Silly, saying. There's no way. No, here's the deal. What they're saying is you have a hue to behind your skin. Like I have a red hue. You have a yellow hue. Uh, Fancy also has a reddish hue. He's a pinkish hue. Pete I'm, has yeah. like a brownish hue. Pete's actually more. Call, you do. You, we didn't even talk about this. You know Pete is native. Yeah. He is. No, he is. That's insane. He is native. He's like 25%, 25% native. He did a DNA that, test. It's not, that's like... Tell him, Pete. He yeah. did a DNA test. Yeah, Navajo. He's 25% Navajo. That's like the... What's the the, the, the senator from... May, what's her name? <laughs> the one that ran for office? Oh. Dianne Feinstein No, the one that... Ran, what? Warren. Pocahontas? No, no, he's talking about Elizabeth, Elizabeth Warren. Warren. Elizabeth, Elizabeth Warren. They she's got twenty five percent. No, she's got like five percent. Two percent. Oh, two percent. Oh, 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 was that even real? No, oh. I have two percent. I think you do. Everybody has two percent native something. I, I wonder. I want to go back to see where that happened. Like what? Where like, you got the two percent in there? <laughs> snuck in. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it just you weren't. Hey, huh? <laughs> oh, there was it just disappeared. Yeah, that's it. Just gone. Yeah, when did that happen? 300 years ago in your family lineage? Way longer than 300 years. The native juice. The native juices Native juices were flowing, I think, thousands of years ago. Holy moly. Yeah, when we were all crossing over You're each Nav other. Navajo. That's right. That's the good kind. That's the best yeah. kind. <laughs> Shout out to Navajos. <laughs> our favorite. We established that. What? We established that. that yeah, we established, no, they're not. They're all great. But Of um, course, of course. Of course, course they're all of course. great. But um, so do you have, you know, native instincts? <laughs> I, I would I think so yeah yeah, yeah. See, how I fast survive. He, see how yeah. fast he is chase him real yeah, fast yeah. <laughs> let me say something fancy try to grab him by the neck yeah. see what yeah. happens <laughs> see yeah, no, we, no, that's, that's, that's that is good right there. that's, yeah, that's good that's good we native. should give him a basket of blankets Just a basket blankets oh no oh, <laughs> oh. not a blanket no. no 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 what because I give you just get I'll give you a jar of smallpox. You don't oh, have to put it on the blanket. Put it on the side. Smallpox yeah, on the side, yeah, please. Yeah. No, but we should have you we have a basket to see how fast you can gather. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's That'd a cool. very good like, idea. Oh, my God. He just did three baskets in, baskets in 10 minutes. He's native? He's native, for sure. God bless. It would take me years <laughs> to even find the <laughs> fucking shit. Yeah. Well, your fingers are small, too. They're hard to grab stuff. Right. It would your, just hand, be... your hand looks like the claw from the claw machine, the game claw machine. Oh, <laughs> that's right. That's right. Yeah, your yeah, hands yeah, drop yeah, all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, it would drop everything. Rudy, yeah. who else is in class that you're that you're having fun with? You have new friends now? I mean, what's going on? I still don't have friends. God bless. No, you, yeah, you do. <laughs> who thought she would? One? Yeah, but we barely meet. meet. And then I went to this Filipino thing with her. Mm. Oh, what a Filipino thing. It's secret, like a secret meeting. It's yeah. like a concert slash like play and it was so bad. We hate whites. That's what they we hate yeah. whites the whole time. It was a play? A play <laughs> and a concert. A play. But I mean, I would love to see an all um Filipino cast of Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be that'd be insane. <laughs> Joseph and the mailing tepke cara dream coat. Cream cup. <laughs> you guys do. You should do the Filipino Phantom of the Opera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, that'd be insane. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this would be Oklahoma. Would be great. Yeah. To see. Uh, well, by the way, that look at how many cast members in Oklahoma. That's just one Filipino family. <laughs> yeah. That's just one consecutive one, that's one family. family. Yeah, yeah, that's one family. They had to cut out four family members. <laughs> yeah, just as yeah, yeah. they didn't make the cut. Yeah. So your classes are what now? What's going on now? It's just summer. So no. Oh, you're done. That's right. What am yeah. I thinking? What was the last couple of classes you did? Chemistry and math. You don't do either of those. 
What do you mean? Five times four. 20. Six times nine. 54. <laughs> nine times nine. 81. That's Four, enough. 42 divided by 16. No, don't do divide. Well, then you're not doing college math. Yeah. You can do that? 42 divided by 16? Yeah. Sure, I can, dude. 3.865. <laughs> That's really fast. Dude. Yeah, man. Since I don't know the answer, I'm sure you're right. Give me a huge number. I'll, I can do it. I got a little tissue. All right, 496 divided by 18.5. <laughs> 22.948. Oh, six, six, five, four. I didn't know you were one of those. Two. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. You're like, you know. I know pi, too. You'll, what is I it? I can do pi forever. 3.168, You know what you are? You're good, you're good Andrew Hunting. <laughs> are you good Andrew Hunting? How do you like them apples? <laughs> wow. Wait, but I have a story. Yeah, oh, well, thank you. Thank God. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. So I was at work and then this student called and he was like really distressed. Mm -hmm. And then he said like, "Oh, I have like a late late class that I didn't do. I someone needs to help me." And you're in the dean's office. Yeah. Okay. And then I was like well, I, I thought you were in I'm sorry, dean's office? She's working in the dean's office now. Oh, I thought you were in the bookstore. No, dude, she's a snitch now. No. Oh, you're in the, the dean's office. Yeah, working for us. And you you've met the dean? Yeah. What's his name? Okay, whatever. You like him? He's fine. Is he old? He's white and old. How old? They're all white and old. Like 60? Whoa. That's not old. That Bobby's 60. <laughs> but he looks like old. Because he's white. Yeah. We get old. And does he know your name? I don't think so. We, okay, that's one we of We don't those. say hi. That's what does he those. call you? <laughs> Nothing. Brownie? Yeah. <laughs> Brownie, come in here. Yeah. He doesn't say anything. He just. He's never said hi to you. He just says hi, but like. That's it. You're more famous than he is. That's what's By far. That's what's insane about it. He yeah. should give you respect, that <laughs> piece should. of shit, Dean. How many followers does he have on the gram? I don't know. If he had a, a gram, maybe tops, 2,000. Top, tops. 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 Maybe 1,500 tops. if he's fucking, if he's done some local community stuff. Okay, let me finish. Please. Okay. <laughs> okay, and then like, I kept, I told him like, okay, let me just ask someone because I don't know how to deal with your situation. And he got really like mad at me oh. and he started like shouting at me like, like, why are you so incompetent? Like, Great. Do you know what you just did? What? How long ago was this? Two months ago. <sighs> You're lucky that it's why? summer. Because that guy was, <laughs> you know that. <laughs> he was, he threatened to shoot the school. Yes, yes. That's what I just fucking said. The he guy did? that calls you mad. He was scary. But he threatened to school the shoot. <laughs> school to shoot. shoot, shoot the school, school to shoot. Welcome shoot school. back to school to <laughs> shoot. <laughs> On this episode, of school to shoot. Sorry. Wait, he said I'm gonna do it. <laughs> school to shoot. Yeah. What did you say? The manager. I had to transfer it to the manager because I was getting scared. That's and crazy. That someone's like, yeah. I'm gonna shoot the school. You're like, can you hold for a second, please? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then. Boom. <laughs> little fucking fucking elevator music. Wow. So he threatened you, then you go, I need to transfer you to somebody else. Yeah, but before that, he he just kept saying, you don't know how to do your job, you're so stupid. What is your job? Just answer the phone? Just answering calls and transferring it. That sounds like you did your do job. You hate, do you hate your job? Yeah. I bet, uh, I what bet are they paying? Hate. 15, 15 50 per hour. Dude, it's she was so living small. on Easy Street over here. And, right? and you went back. your attitude. It's insane. We, no, don't roll your eyes, right? And now, do you question your attitude? No. Whoa, see, so you're stubborn. You Filipinos are fucking stubborn. I love it. I love it. You'd rather do that I love it. than apologize. <laughs> Why would I apologize? Because you bad attitude. Yeah, no. bad girl, bad right, attitude. Look at her. Yeah. Fifteen fifty an hour. <laughs> Yuck. And you pay taxes. No, I don't because I'm a student. Oh, you're illegal. That's right. You're an illegal alien. Whoa. I forgot. So do they pay you every other week? No, every month. And when you look at the check, you're like, oh, yeah. "How I much did, is the I biggest check you got?" <laughs> Seven hundred. Seven hundred for the whole month. Yeah. Not how bad. Many day, how many days? That's how not many bad. hours did you work? I can't work for like more than twenty hours a week. Uh, so I, I can only like the maximum was only like fourteen hours. Seven hundred though. Yeah. What wow. you? Wow. Well, did you save it? Yeah. No. Okay. Is, is Kalila making you pay rent? No. Should. They should. No. Uh, we, we need to teach you about life. You've had it too good for too long. <laughs> Way too good. <laughs> you have. I take care of the dogs. Oh, that that's that's a Four human dogs. You're supposed to. They're your dogs. 
They're your dogs. They're my dogs. They're his dogs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah, he's not dog. there. He's not there because he's busy making money to support you. Yeah. yeah. It all trickles down, baby. <laughs> it's called <laughs> Reaganomics. Reagan, Reagan, baby. <laughs> Reagan talked about it. It's yeah. all going to trickle down. And you know what? You're living off the government for free because we're paying for you to be here 700 bucks a month, you know? I actually think you should give us that 700. You all. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. What? We jump started your whole life. Yeah. No. You're getting recognized on campus. You're floating through school. The Are you getting reason recognized? You're getting they're recognized? pushing you through school is because of us. Yeah. You're getting recognized on campus. Yeah. yeah, I was working and like I was giving shirts around the campus. Like bad friend shirts? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my God. We should send her with those, yeah, some yeah, of those yeah, shirts. Yeah, that'd be cool. No. Butcher box. I'll tell you this right now. This is a guaranteed truth. I'm a meat eater. Um, I'm a meat eater. And also, um, yesterday I was driving to the house and I pull up to the driveway and there's a butcher box waiting for me. I open it up and there's just heavenly delights in it. Oh, it's so good. I love getting a butcher box in my house because I don't like grocery shopping. I'm not a big fan and I don't know what to get. And how do I get and where do I get high quality meat? 100% grass fed beef, free range organic chicken, pork raised crate free, and wild caught seafood. They have that's seafood as well. People so don't good. know that. 100% grass fed beef. That's what you said. Yeah. Humanely raised, no antibiotics or added hormones. Every single time I get a butcher box, I get so excited. In fact, I share with my neighbor Steve, sweet guy. I need to give him some because he's always like, I saw the box. I want to get a little bit. And I said, I'll let you in, but you got to break me off. Pay for my gardening once a month butcher box is giving us a special deal yeah uh delicious wonderful meat delivered right to your door and seafood as well that's humanely raised with no antibiotics free shipping always created to customized box plans that's right it's a variety of high quality cuts at an amazing value and i gotta tell you they got member deals so when you join you get more for your money butcher box is giving us a special deal today sign up and use that code bad friends to receive ground beef for a year plus twenty dollars off your first order that's two pounds of ground beef free in every box for a year plus twenty dollars off your first order like andrew said when you sign up at butcherbox.com slash bad friends and use code bad friends display you guys you guys you guys you guys guys this plate is the greatest thing if you go to my house i have displayed all over the house because these are future posters because listen to this yeah look at li listen to this huh? this is a fuck display is a one-of-a-kind metal poster designed to capture your unique passions they created a 21st century canvas that's sturdy magnet mountain and durable enough to withstand a lifetime of intense staring gazing and enjoying this plate um, created a unique, easy, safe magnet mounting system that only takes 20 seconds. No need for drilling your walls. All you need to do is wipe your wall with a cleaning wipe, stick a protective leaf, place a magnet, and put the disc plate on your wall. It's that easy! It's that easy, and it's a win-win, because when you buy one of these, they plant trees. It's that great. And also, the master of production signs the back. You get an autograph. How nice is that? They ship all over the world in four to five business aids. It's a perfect alternative for that standard paper poster that you know is going to rip or get ruined and damaged without having to be framed. They're eco friendly like we said, every design sold, they're going to plant a tree. Use the link in the description or go to displate.com slash bad friends and use the code bad friends at the checkout to get 20% off of one to two disc plates or 30% off for three or more disc plates. Display, collect, collect your, your passions. passions. Yeah, yeah. The Dean's office shirts. Uh -huh. Who the fuck wants one of those? Yeah. And because they were graduates, so maybe they want one. Oh. A Dean's office t shirt? <laughs> For what? Wait, who t did they tell you to do that? Or you yeah. were like, I think I should do this. No, with this. they uh, told uh, me uh, to uh, do uh. it. What would you ever do with the Dean's Office t-shirt? What would you use it for? Clean my car. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just the window and stuff. Yeah, it's a jizz rag. 100% oh, a yeah, jizz yeah, rag. Yeah, 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 yeah. They should just write Dean's Office jizz rag. <laughs> Class of 20. And so you're passing out this fucking shirt. Yeah. And, and people then... are like, no, nah, I don't want it. <laughs> no, they wanted it. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's free. Yeah, it's free. <laughs> okay. The way that fucking college kids love free shit, that's like worthless. Wow. They're never going to wear it, you know? So then what happened? And then a guy was like, wait, are you Jules? I was like, yeah. And then he was like, oh, I'm such a huge fan. Uh, oh, and man. then like my co co coworker was like, who was that? And I was like, oh, it's just a classmate. Oh, you lied. Yeah. Well, well, are, are you, you embarrassed? But then you're humble. Said, there was another girl who said, oh my God, you're Rudy. I was like, yeah. I was like, and then he was, she was like, I love your, I love the podcast so much. And then my coworker was like, wait, are you on a podcast? I was like, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, well, did you tell them the truth, which is you're no longer on the podcast? Yeah. Because you departed. You quit. And by the way, we didn't get a two weeks notice. So we can technically, we'll we'll use this for your next employer. Okay. When they call, I'm going to go, no, bad employee. Well, the truth is people are missing you on the thing. Yeah, and, big you know, time. Big time. And uh, we're going to get you back, back on. <laughs> do we miss her? I do. I do too. Because whenever I'm with her, when I go to the house, she acts as if 
I'm furniture. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, you go, hello, Tito Bobby, and then you just walk into a room. No, because. Have we ever had a conversation? No, And because, I'm there for fucking hours. Because you're so weird. You're just like, you just keep, <laughs> you just like sit down on a co couch and then you just look so sad and then you just make noises. You know why he's sad? Because you're not talking to him. Exactly. <laughs> you're in, you're, it's you're, like losing my daughter in a fire. Yeah. <laughs> or something like that. Or like, or, an, or like a drowning. Or like an acid attack. Acid attack, yeah, yeah, yeah. But we talked about Hogwarts. <sighs> because it's like, you know, it's like, I, to me, it's like, what can I talk to this girl about? Mm -hmm. Right? So I'm like, uh, the state of affairs, no. You know what I mean? <laughs> Things that are going on in the government, no. no. She only knows Hogwarts. Only Hogwarts. <laughs> yeah, so I go, uh, you know, Slytherin or whatever. And then you go, uh, no, I'm this. Are you Gryffindor? You know, you know. first of all, yeah. you know I'm Slytherin. You're Slytherin? Slytherin? Yeah. 100%. Hufflepuff, you know that. Andreas is Hufflepuff. Why? I just feel it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So what are you, Pete? What's Pete? Gryffindor? Yeah, for sure. And me? Yes. Hufflepuff. I thank you. What are you? Ravenclaw. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, Ravenclaw, that couldn't be sure. more true. <laughs> My God, is that right on the money? Yeah. Because it's all about color schematics. That's right. You know, like when I played the video game, right? It, there was just a kind of a warmth to Hufflepuff. The colors. Slytherin snakes and... It, <laughs> and uh, you've never seen the movie. <laughs> never, do you believe he's never seen a fucking movie? A, a, a Harry Potter movie? That's insane. Never. Not one. Why? And yet here I am knowing all the bullshit you know. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that funny? The zeitgeist of that mo those books and movies have infiltrated our society. So I know all of it. Like, But there's no curiosity? I almost know it too much. Right. Like it's almost you like- You know the music though. Yes, I do. Sing the tune. Because I've taken my nieces on the ride at Universal. Sing me the, <laughs> the Harry Potter tune. The main theme? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Harry Potter, <laughs> magic boy. Harry Potter, magic boy. That's it. How do you know that? On the ride, they sing that. Yeah, <laughs> they sing. You're just strapped in. Harry Potter, <laughs> magic boy. Yep. <sighs> just like the movies. Just like it. Wow. And I know everyone's theme song. Yeah. You do? It's Ron, Ron Weasley. Nobody likes him. It's Ron, Ron Weasley. Nobody likes him. him. It's oh, Ron. Oh, yeah. What about um, yeah, Hermione? Hermione, yeah. <laughs> Hermione uh, sucks. <laughs> she sucks so bad. Hermione's, I think, was, uh, it was like, it's weird to sexualize young people. That's what it was, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. It is. That's, yeah. They make her like a sex symbol on that fucking, it's so Not weird. Not in the first movie. <laughs> Okay, but the, everything I see of that girl, they but do. But she, after, they were, I mean, I, I think they shot that when they were in their 20s, <laughs> yeah. right? I, I don't like it. Okay. I, I, it's the same thing the way I feel about Eleven from fucking Stranger Things. Stranger Things. They like put her in like sexy clothes and all that stuff and I see on. Yeah, it's weird. I was like, what the fuck is this? I don't like it. But I know all the songs from Harry Potter. Literally all of them. I know, oh, um, uh, uh, Gandalf. Uh -huh. the, you know the Gandalf? Oh yeah, man. Yeah, you know Gandalf's in the movies. He's in the background. He's in the background. Yeah. What does he look like? Big. He's big. <laughs> I'm Gandalf, and I'm here to say, Harry Potter, you are gay. Big. That's his whole thing. Yeah, yeah. And he is boom, it Hedwig? Boom, boom, boom. No, Gandalf, Gandalf, the Gray. The Gray. He makes a surprise visit. He's he, he's. He can fly with those eagles. Yep. <laughs> right? So he's in Middle Earth, right? He's like, I wonder what Hogwarts, the college is up to. He flies on the eagle and he just stands in the back. So you barely see him in the movies. And that whole broom Quidditch stuff, I know that game too. Yeah. Legolas is in that, right? Legolas is, Legolas was in the second one, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he too catches, catches a ride with Gandalf. Yep. On the fucking bird. Yep. Or hawk or whatever that is, and they come and you know he plays a little. Quidditch. I think it's a condor that they fly on. <laughs> it's a condor, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the Quidditch brooms, by the way, you mm. know those are like Sibians. What Sibians? It's a little like a, a vibrating dildo. You know they put it up their ass. That's because you, when you see it, you're like, how would they stay on the broom? It's it's, it's the get the get it's fart gas. <laughs> oh, it is. Yeah. So it goes in your butt, right? You fart, and it powers the fucking broom. You don't know that? Yeah. It's fart that's gas. how it flies it's away. Fart gas, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and that's where the Mexicans come in <laughs> because they eat refried beans. By the way, J.K. Before... Rowling's gonna sue us. Yeah, she's like, let me tell you something. I may be a bigot, but don't you fuck up my books. Don't you fuck up the story of my books. 
But I read I read all of them. We can we can come up with our own mythological tale just as good. Easy, JK. So easy. You ain't shit. Yeah. We got it like that. We got it like that. We could do it, JK. We could do it today. Right now. Yeah, Nucci the Woodsman. That's let's start there. <laughs> What about Gumbimi? You know Gumbimi? Yeah, Nucci and Gumbimi. The right? little Italian guy, Gumbimi. Exactly. And Nucci, they live in the forest. Nucci of... and Gumbimi. I, I want to be an elf. You fucking oh sure God. are. You sure are. Yeah. Elf with wings. You're not going to be Nucci? What's Nucci? No, you're Nucci and I'm Gumbimi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Nucci. Yeah, Nucci, oh, Nucci and Gumbimi. We're in the movies that we're going to write? Yeah. All right. What the fuck are we, why are we writing this shit for other people? <laughs> oh, that's true. Right. It's Hollywood, baby. Yeah. Nucci and Gumbimi. And yeah. what's her elf name with wings? Ching Ching. Yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> cool. We have to what? we have to go back. We have to go to the we have to go to corporate first. <laughs> imagine, imagine the meeting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, so we wrote this new. You know, because you love Harry Potter, don't you? We love it. You love it. Yeah, I love. Made uh, millions, billions, billions, millions of billions. Yeah, I love it. Theme parks, merchandise, yes. et cetera, et cetera. We have our own. Oh, please tell us. It's untitled. <laughs> okay. But one of what well, we have Nucci and Gambini. Wait, the two main characters are Nucci and Gambini. <laughs> Gambini. <laughs> Yes. I love it. <laughs> yeah. But the sidekick, a flying fairy. Oh, yeah. brilliant. Flying elf. Same thing. I'm sorry, my assistant's here. Yeah, who is that? <laughs> it's my assistant. Oh, right. Yeah. She Do you work up. in the dean's office at a local college? <laughs> yeah. I feel yeah. like I've seen you before. Well, you, you got the shirt. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you got the shirt on. Yeah, Nucci, yeah, yeah. Kabibi, and yeah. who is this? This is um, Ching Ching. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting, yeah. You can that's can fly? we hear... Can, well, I mean... It can fly, the the wings. <laughs> oh, that's but true. But can you? How about this? I, I'm a little hesitant because the it just it seems close. Yeah. Well, well, why can can we hear your voice, Ching Ching? That that's it. <laughs> she oh. she sucks in air and oh, gasps. Oh. She doesn't speak. That's the thing. All right. Because she needs the air to fly. Oh. <gasps> <gasps> yeah 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 yeah. Very yes. Good. Ching. <laughs> and it's what's crazy she does say her name i know what's crazy though it's not her saying it it's what the wings are doing so <gasps> ching, ching, because ching, the wing, ching, because ching. what you're not gonna believe is the wings right have steel in it mm -hmm. and her <laughs> bodies have steel and when it hits the steel body ching, ching, ching. <laughs> oh so it's more shing it's more shing than shing, shing. shing. yeah yeah, shing. yeah 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 right well, Ching Ching sounds good to me. <laughs> yeah. Write this movie. Write this movie. You yeah. die though, don't you? In the first one. First one. Yeah. 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 Second one. Movies. Second. You no. die in the first movie. You die in the first one for sure. Yeah, yeah. Second one. I don't know, but there's flashback scenes. Yeah, you're in the other with one with Ching Ching. What's okay. your superpower? Flying. Flying is not a superpower. Yeah, yeah. Everybody flies. My wings can produce pixie dust to let other people fly. <laughs> what? <laughs> So you you fly into a McDonald's. People are having a meal. <laughs> you do your pixie dust, and everyone's just, just like, "Whoa!" No, 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 no. Yeah, Ching Ching's here. <laughs> Imagine how good she'd go over at like gay nightclubs. Yeah, Ching Ching's here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And we could do a flashback scene where there's like a little egg, right? Yeah, that's where we come from, right? And it opens, and people are in wonderment, <gasps> and then all of a sudden, <laughs> that's it. Ching Ching. That's the beginning of the movie. That's the beginning. The story of Jing Jing. Yeah. Yeah. Born on a cliff. Yeah. A golden mountain cliff. A golden mountain <laughs> cliff. <laughs> yeah. On the 18th planet of our solar system, Ching Ching was born. She fell down to the earth. Her egg cracked open yeah. and she arose. A metal winged beast. An ugly, horrific creature. <laughs> yeah. With a face that looked like it had been doused with battery acid. She's or nor lie. Ma she's nor male or female. She's ambiguous and ambiguously sexually. sexually. And also very stupid. <laughs> Somehow <laughs> so stupid. Because every once in a while you hear chong and that's you running into a tree. <laughs> ching, ching, chong. Chong. Ching, ching, chong. Right, that's her hitting something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I have glitter all over? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Sure, if your character has to put that on their face. I think you got glitter all yeah, over yeah, the yeah, fucking yeah, place. Yeah, on your face. But you and I, what's our main goal? I'll tell you what it is. Yeah. You know, like Mario and Luigi, the only thing that upset me about that was what? Mario always got the princess until the latter versions when they made you could play as Luigi as lead. Yeah. Why weren't they? Fi I want them to fight over the girl. We, we, we're going to fly fight over Ching Ching? No, she's not. She's, oh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's no not. Way. I'm the sidekick. Yeah. All right. And barely that because you die in the first episode <sighs> or the oh. first, the first uh, installment. We're going to have titty trees. 
Just trees with tits on them? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Couldn't agree with you more. <laughs> How wonderful what a beautiful forest with just big tits. Big tit tr- yeah. trees. You know what I mean? Tit forest. Mm. And you can suck on it and like you have something de- like milk tea or something, something delicious. And then the, and then there's like a swamp of assholes. That's, that's that would be, you know, like, be instead cool. of quicksand, you fall into a butthole. Yeah. And for some reason, they're women assholes. Right. So <laughs> they're not male. Real yeah, tight. Really tight. So they're bouncy. Yeah, they're bouncy. So forest yeah. of boobs and a, and a swamp of assholes. Yes. What's my name again in it? Newbie? What? Nucci. 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 And, and gum, what's your? Gumbini. Gumbini. Yeah, Gumbini. Oh, we're Italian? I am. Yeah, yeah, I'm not. Nucci. Yeah, Nucci. Yeah, you're Japanese. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah, and I'm Italian. Because uh, Nucci is a Korean word. For what? Instinct. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you. What's Gumbini? Look that up. Just <laughs> just say Gumbini in Italian. It's Let's... shrimp. No, no, that's no. Came from particularly of the leg. <laughs> what is the surname Gambini? Came from a person with some peculiarity of the legs or a strange walk. <laughs> that's, and that's a character thing. I think you did that. Yeah, dude. My leg, my yeah, legs yeah. are just. <laughs> yeah. Like my legs are longer, so long they like go over my head, almost spider-like. Right. So I have spider-like legs. I sit like this. These are my legs. Yeah. I have no arms. Gambini has no arms. Maybe, can I be small? You're so small. And I live on, I just chill on your eyebrow. Uh, on one of my bushy brows. <laughs> yeah, and I'm just chilling. And I, I grab onto your bushy brow, Yeah, uh, you know, as my hand. I think you're one arm swinging. Oh, oh well, yeah, yeah. Because you want. Nucci. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I Nucci. Right. And somebody's like, what did you say? I'm like, oh, nothing. Yeah. Oh, you're just like Lenny from my, uh, Mice and Men. Yeah. Dumb. Yeah, very. I'm bright. You're the brightest. <laughs> the brightest little light. I'm the brightest little light there. Now, these oh, roles so are going to be hard to play for us. <laughs> Why? Well. You think we're reversing? <laughs> mm-hmm. that, that's fucking But I do like it. Yeah, okay, good, good. Well, let me stretch my wings. Let me. F- she's doing it for oh, you. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. No, but let me. Uh, Who's you know, the princess? Fancy? No. Why yes. not fancy and drag? Yeah, that could be it. Like I tell you, when we did pictures of us role reversing as men and women, yeah, he was one of the hottest girls in the studio. Okay, he, well, I mean, maybe d- during the whole movie, Nucci, mm-hmm. right? I'm dangling. Yeah, you'd be you'd be dangling, <laughs> right? And what's up? You know, <laughs> yeah. And I go, I don't know why you like that fucking princess, right? She's pretty and right. nice. <laughs> and then what happens? We we go to the fucking you know I mean the castle. Mm-hmm. And normally, you know, because there's like posters and paintings around you all over the capital, and you only you, you only see yourself in like. Wait, are we storming the capital? No. <laughs> Did Nucci and Gambini storm the capital on January sixth? <laughs> yeah, but in in this world, January sixth, it's something different. Okay. Yeah, but we do go, you know, as an homage. We have to <laughs> as an homage. But we always, I always see you, you know, wearing like you know clothes and robes and stuff like that. But we, when we visit you, you're completely naked. Now, your face looks like the way you do now, mm-hmm. but your body, we're going to CGI the fuck out of it. So hot. And I see you, I'm dangling, and I see you with the hottest body I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden, I let go of, the, of your eyebrow. I got you. Uh. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Caught you right in my tongue. No, because now, already now, it's my goal to get her to. Oh. That's where we- We separate. We separate. So now it's you, you versus I, and then we'll have a conversation. Like, how come you don't hang out on my eyebrow anymore? Right. Well, that'll be that's a that's the end of the second act. Okay. We sure. know how this goes. Because oh. <laughs> right. in the end, you know what's going to end up happening. We're fighting for her love, right? In the in the lava pits. You yeah. know we're back in the lava pits. <laughs> oh, Turtle Island. Yeah, we're back. <laughs> we're back. And no, that's... let's stay away from Turtle Island. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, all right. I think this was going to happen. Let, just, let me just throw this as a fucking arc. Mm-hmm. All right. So you finally get her. I got her. You're in bed with her. Already, right? made, already made love. <laughs> no, not yet. You're about to. Mm-hmm. And you go down, you know what I mean, to kiss her, Vag. Mm-hmm. Guess who's already there? <laughs> Nucci. Uh, Nucci! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And it goes to black. And there's like a little couch in her vagina. And you know what I mean? I'm already set up camp. You got a whole family <laughs> there? I, I have a fl- no, I have a flat screen TV. I'm just <sighs> chilling there. Playing, you're playing Nintendo <laughs> Switch. I did it already. <laughs> <laughs> I fucked the princess. Fine. Yeah, yeah. You get her. First. What do you think? You get the princess. Yeah, yeah. and then Pete comes storming what, what, in. Pete, oh yeah, yeah. What does Pete play? Um, admiral. Like, he's got to be like the. Yeah, he's got to be a captain of some yeah, kind. But he he's not. He's half an animal, like a hippopotamus. <laughs> Let's just make him. A hippo. You don't have to do much. Okay. Yeah, 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 do that. yeah, yeah. So we'll do. Sound hip- familiar, Pete? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> captain. What do we call him? Bartholomew the hippo. Bartholomew the hip, hippo bottom puss. He has a, a hippo bottom puss. He's a hippopotamus, but it's got a huge vagina sticking out. He's a hippo bottom puss. 
Is it beautiful? Stunning. Is that then you fall in love with him? <laughs> ah, I see where you're going. Because I let you have the princess, then right, I get the bottom puss right. over there. And maybe in the second movie, there's By the way, a way, That four, sounds like a great a insult. Four-way? Yeah, there's a four way. <laughs> <laughs> there's a four way. And she's watching movie. us from heaven. Yeah. Yeah. No, well, she, yeah, that's she's right. She's dead. She's dead already. And then, and then God, or the, the, the ethereal angel that, that controls her in the afterlife says, you have to go back down and stop this. So that's the third, ep- the third, the no. trilogy. You know, I don't want her to die in the first movie. I'll tell you why, right? I would like in the four way, this is what I would like. Can I veto this? I want her dead in the first one. Okay, can I just Sorry. throw this I'd seen idea though? Okay, but All I right. do want her in dead. In the four way, right? We're ha- we're having a good time and I'm shooting in inside I'm shooting inside Hippo's asshole, you know, the princess's vagina. You're like, everywhere. I'm, little, I'm everywhere. Yeah. And I'm fast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm coming so many times, too, right? But then all of a sudden, there's a scene. This is a good. It's for levity. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is for levity. <laughs> yeah, no, what? This is for levity. Right? Bring this down to earth. Yeah, yeah this is good. No, isn't levity for laugh? Yeah, but also it brings everything down a little bit to like to earth. Bring it down to. Oh, to like, well, then it's that... it's for laughter to make everything feel level. Oh, I don't know. Well, then give me another word for it. This no, is... levity's right. Mm-hmm. No, it's not because when she comes, she, we all float. Oh. And then we're like, ching, ching. Yep. <laughs> I want that scene. What do you think, Ching Ching? I like it. Thanks. Yeah. Thank now you. that we have the writer's strike, I think you guys might have a chance. I was going to say, I went out there, you know, I per, I want to commit uh, commend these guys and girls out there. They're protesting all day and I've been egging them. I've been, I bought eggs and I've been egging them and I, I, I got to tell you, with the signs. they hit it with a sign. Yeah. And I've been hucking at them. All the writers, I've been yeah. just overhand hucking at them. I've hit two or three, <laughs> but man, really commendable, these guys. It's going to go on for a while. Yeah, good. Get their money. Fuck it. Yeah. The business the business is full of shit, the amount of money that this fucking machine makes. Yeah. Also, I was saying, I, I saw a guy today, I can't say the name of him, but he was an actor who was on a famous show when we were young, and he did, you know, it went for a while, but this is back when you could do one series and make a fucking truckload of money and mm. never work again. Mm. He has, but he didn't have to. Mm. Meanwhile, now, it doesn't mean shit when you do a series. Yeah, they, they think there's going to be a SAG strike after that. SAG strike. I said yes. I voted yes. Yeah, yeah. They sent me the thing in the mail. They said, do you want to strike? I said, yeah, fucking strike. Give us more shit. Yeah, Fuck it. Yeah. And also, it's for benefits for people that don't make enough money, that are struggling actors. Like, dude, these fucking studios, fuck these guys. They're all making so much money. All these big wigs are hiding behind these these monolithic buildings of all this money. And they're like, we do give you guys money. Like, you don't give a shit. Fuck out of here. Give us more money. Give us all the money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do all the th- shit. The writers do all the things. The producers, the directors, the actors, they make all the shit. So give them the money. Mm-hmm. Fuck you, Me Hollywood. Yep, yep. Right? Yep, 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 yep. You want to protest? You want to go out there? Yeah, well, I don't know how. <laughs> I know. I, you know what's so funny? Is I don't know where to get a sign. I don't know where to go. Well, the sign, the sign you can, you know, it's funny if we just make our own signs. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, a, I, a bunch of writers have called me and goes, hey, let's, you want to go? And I'm like, where is it? <laughs> You just go walk around Universal. I never ask a word. I just don't ignore it. You go, I'll, I'll do the I'll next one. I'll be there. I'll do the next one. This is where you need a body double. That's right. Why well, could you? Oh, that's right. You need to hire someone that's like, dude, Bobby was there. Yeah. He didn't talk to anybody. He was seriously upset. That whole thing of Asians look alike, this is where it comes into hand. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. In the situation like that. You this. call up Randall Park, send him down. He's probably huh? already down there. Yeah. Go, look at, no, that... he's already there. He's like, Bobby Lee. Yeah. I could bring, I could bring, um. Pay Randall half the day to wear a shirt that said, I'm Bobby Lee. <laughs> That'd be cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But um, I can find a fat Asian guy, maybe. that's not... You're not fat. Thank you. No. Who would I get? Seth Green? Who's down there for me? <laughs> He's so small, though. Ron Howard? Maybe. Just in a hat? Yeah. You know what I mean? Ron Howard. Or should always... this is Cocoon? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fucking... What? It's so specific. It is? <laughs> yeah. You never saw Cocoon? I did. Did you see Cocoon? No, she was hey, no Everyone in the room could see Cocoon? Yeah, yeah, everyone over 35. <laughs> right. It's Cocoon's such a good movie. Anyone watch... Who hasn't seen Cocoon? I bet you so many people haven't seen it. I bet McCone's never seen it. No, Cocoon the movie, not Cocoon. He's never seen it. And he was a fucking (laughs) film major. Oh, see that old man? Go to the right. The very right. That's me. The top. That's me. That dude right there, when he shot that movie, was 49 years old. (laughs) (laughs) No No way. That actor was, yeah. Shut up. One of the actors was... I think that's the guy that was like 49 years old. That's like your dean. Yeah. Yeah. He's 60, but he looks 100. I forgot what Cocoon was about. It was about old people going to space. It was about... It was about preserving life of the elderly, but I think they were some of them were aliens, right? Yeah, yeah, right. Oh, some of them were aliens, but then I remember Steve Gutenberg was in it. The Goot, one of the greatest. Right. You know, old people. Let's talk about old people. Well, no, we should watch more old people movies. What do you mean with old people in it? Yeah, I mean they just don't make it up. Like they, they tried that dude, that one with San, uh, Sally Fields, the football one with Jane Fonda, Brady, the Brady one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eighty. Did, we ever, did anybody see that? Yeah, you did. How? Why? Why did you see that? <laughs> I watched the first twenty minutes. 
80 for Brady. Do you even know what this is? I just want to support older people because I think I'm going to I'm going to get there. Right. You're never going to get there. <laughs> well, I'm never going to be an 80 for Brady part two. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean? What would your 80? No, no. Be? Let me ask you. What, when you say I'm never going to get there, you mean a yours high will, profile? Yours will, yours will be 80 for Wayne Brady and you'll have to go meet Wayne Brady. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, you and a bunch of dudes who are obsessed with Wayne Brady doing doing improv. Uh, you know, you're never going to work when you're 80. Why? Yeah, I don't think you're going to make it. You don't think I'm going to make it until I'm 80? Yeah, I know. I mean, in the business. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, probably, <laughs> probably. Morgan, Morgan and Morgan. Morgan. Let me tell you something right now, bud. If I was in an accident, you know, and I hurt my little back and my neck, mm -hmm. you who I call? You're calling Morgan and Morgan. I call Morgan and Morgan, man. Because I got into an accident not too long ago in my own neighborhood. You know why? Because in the year 2020, there was over 5 million car crashes, extremely common, 15,000 a day, 600 per hour, and we got in one. I didn't know where to turn. I didn't know what to do. Do I need to get a lawyer? Do I sue? Is that a real thing? Do they have insurance? What will happen? Well, guess what? Morgan & Morgan takes care of all of that for Morgan you. Morgan & Morgan is America's largest injury law firm. They have over 100 offices nationwide and more than 800 lawyers. With over $15 billion recovered for clients, Morgan & Morgan has a proven track record of fighting to get you full and fair compensation. Because here's the deal. If you're ever injured, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. Submitting an injury claim with Morgan & Morgan is so easy. It's more like using an app than hiring a lawyer. It's easy, uh, easier than taking takeout. It's easier than almost anything. You do it from the comfort of your own house. With Morgan & Morgan, you can submit a claim without having to leave the couch. Open up your phone, and in eight clicks or less, you are already done. If you're ever injured, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. Their fee is free unless they win. For more information, go to forthepeople.com slash badfriends or dial pound law, pound 529 from your cell phone. That's for for the people, F O R, for the people.com slash bad friends or pound law, pound 529 from yourself. There's a paid advertisement. Vroom! Vroom, 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 vroom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With Vroom, you can shop thousands of cars right from your phone and have your next ride delivered straight to you. You guys, um, you know, I bought a car and I, you know, I, th I thought to myself, should I go to these dealerships? So I tried a couple. Ugh. Hot. They were rude. No thanks. Yeah, it was, it was, it was isolating, right? But then I went to Vroom. And I got the car that I have now. It's 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 the best. Vroom is the better way to buy your next ride. You'll never have to haggle or negotiate the price of a car so you know what you're getting. You're getting a good deal. You are getting a good deal. And the best part is when you buy a car on Vroom, you have a full week or 250 miles, whichever one comes first, to make sure you love your new ride and mm -hmm. it's right for you. All the cars on Vroom.com come with a 90-day limited warranty and a one-year of roadside assistance nationwide, giving you peace of mind while you're out and about on the road. And Bobby's got a brand new car from Vroom. It's beautiful and wonderful. And he's got peace of mind knowing he's got protection from Vroom. Oh, 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 you can also trade in your old car when you buy your new one, or you can even just sell your car to Vroom. When you sell your car on Vroom, you get a price instantly, and they'll even come pick it up. Here's the best part. You can buy a car from Vroom entirely online. Why not try it? Bobby did, and it worked great. So next time you need to buy a car, just grab your phone, go to Vroom.com, and check out thousands of cars. You yeah. think you're going to work when you're 80 years old? But if I feel like if like Ken Jeong, Randall Parker, they all die. And they're they, not, first of all, those Ken Jeong's a doctor. He's never going to die. That's true. He's got the secret. It's Diet yeah. Coke, apparently. He told me Diet Coke. Yeah. He told me every doctor drinks Diet Coke like crazy. I said, really? He goes, dude, every doctor I know, six, seven Diet Cokes a day. Yeah. But okay, well, there's got to be B movies for old people. I can be in those. The B movie. Jerry <laughs> Seinfeld did it. No, like no. What I'm saying is independent, like small movie. When I'm 80, I could do it. For what? So what? You're gonna pay like 30 bucks to do an indie movie when you're 80? You're tired. You're never gonna do that. You, you, Bobby Lee will never. I'll be doing dumb shit like that because I'm a loser. So what do you think? I'm gonna retire somewhere? Where am I gonna be? 100. percent Where can I be? Well, you're gonna. Where will you retire? Yeah. Probably down in San Diego. I can see you right now at a big cliff, a house on a cliff overlooking the sea, with a harem of beautiful women. Right, all in their forties when you're 85 years old, and they all have they all have like a calendar. They're like, "Is it my turn to rub your feet, Mr. Lee?" That's what I want. Yeah, I see it. Peace, peace and love. Yeah, peace and love. Peace dude. and love. Yeah. Where am I when I'm 80? You tell me. Oh, you? Yeah. Where am I? Where am I living? What am I doing? You are. Please, believe it or not, please say I'm gay. Please say no. I'm gay. You're not gay, please, but no? what, believe it or not, you were a you decide to keep working, but not as an actor or a comedian, <laughs> but you wanted to wear. A, a uniform. What do I do? Well, you have a grandchild, right? I have a grandbaby. You have a grandbaby. Got but it. what's I crazy about it is you don't have children. So I just have a baby. <laughs> yeah, that's what's Got crazy it. about. It. We don't know how. Got it. This happened, but I'm you following. just one day say I have a grandchild. I sure do. And we're like, you don't have any children. 
Okay. Yeah. So you think. Yeah, but we don't know the history and we don't know the story. Right. Right. What's my uniform? You're the janitor at, at the kids' <laughs> elementary school. <laughs> you make a joke? I've always wanted to be a janitor. That's why I know. I know. That. Always. I know. Have you seen me with a mop? Yeah. But you're like a wise janitor. Yeah. Where the kids ask you questions. What's my name? I got to change my name to protect, you know, my yeah. identity. I can't be Mr. Santino, the janitor. Your bad friends would be long and gone by then. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No one's going to know They'll what that is. They'll call me Mr. Sanny. Yeah. Mr. Sanny? Mr. Sanny? Sanny? What happened in your life, Mr. Sanny? Right. I got, well, one day, a good old Asian friend of mine. Here we go. Wanted to start a show. Mm -hmm. I started a little show. It was a radio -y show back when people used to listen to people talk. <laughs> and that little fucking noodle <laughs> schemed and scammed me. Sold the company years later and now Sunny, he's Sunny. retired. Yes? Noodle is offensive. <laughs> <laughs> what, to, 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 what, to, to whom? I mean, you know, it's just we, these are generations later. <laughs> we're far more sensitive to oh. stuff like noodle. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so this just little, reframe it. This little dumpling I started a show with. <laughs> and me. Yeah, yeah. Okay, just move on. Okay, dumpling. Listen up, you little. <laughs> I didn't fight in World War Three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, world, yeah, we don't know. There could be a world war. Hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there could be. There. What do you mean? There will be a world war three. That's so interesting to me. And you're, you guys are gonna have to fight in it. Well, I yeah. can protest and say women should stay in the house. Oh, <laughs> oh. reverse yeah. feminism. Reverse feminism. I like yes. this. Wow. Wait, because you think women shouldn't work. You, women. Shouldn't. You know what you said to me? You've said to me. You said Tito Andrew, women shouldn't work or vote or drive. No. We'll make this. <laughs> no. Yeah. She no. said that. Yeah. I'm saying if it's World War Three, then I'm gonna say that. Yeah, but if it's World War Three and you want equality, then everyone has to fight. Yeah. You want equality? No. You don't want equality. If it's World War Three. So you want equality unless it's World War Three. <laughs> Got it. You think World War Three is gonna be fought on the ground? I don't know. No, it's going to be another version of COVID. It'll just be an. It'll all be bi uh, biochemical like warfare. Like biochemical warfare, yeah. yeah. And it'll be, be put in our fucking. It'll. Yeah. We'll all have to uh, drink bottled water because the sink water will kill all God, of us. Imagine being in the front lines, though. How scared are you? We're, we're in a foxhole. If it was real war. Yeah, like us three in a foxhole, <laughs> and there's just pew, pew, bombs going off, like, <laughs> right? And we're just sitting there, you know. It's okay, like, Rudy. You get up there and look first. <laughs> no, I'll just kill myself. Whoa, 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 whoa. You know what? Yeah, yeah. Good idea. <laughs> Point your guns at me now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What scared. would you do if you were in a foxhole with us? I'll just kill myself. God, come on. Yeah, that, you that's not your in the instinct isn't to <laughs> do that. It's to survive. But why would I go through that and then just have like PTSD and just have the worst life? Because you're alive. No, you no, don't. No, no, no. People, people sometimes experience that have great lives. You can do EMDR. There's other ways to deal with trauma. You can do it. You can do DMT. You can do DMT. You can do ayahuasca. You can get back. You can get yeah, recentered. You can get back. You can okay, get back. I'll, okay, I won't kill myself then. This, yeah. so, this sounds like a lie. Yeah. This sounds like you're going to do it. Give me your gun. <laughs> yeah. Give it to me. Every, every, That's not a gun. Yeah. Give me your gun, please. Give me your gun. <gasps> uh, That's exactly what yeah. she would do. And she'd kill you and me and then go, those idiots thought I was going to kill myself. And then she'd jump out of the foxhole. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I would have to take your gun until we're fighting. I can't, I can't trust you. I can't sleep. And then, because every time we'd wake up, you'd probably have the fucking <laughs> gun to your mouth. You know what I mean? <laughs> right? And we'd I, have to like... I'm keeping it warm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Rudy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can, by the way, can you imagine me, you, and her at a campsite, right? Mm. We made it through the first night of war. First night of war is done. We There's did a campsite? It. Well, we're camping. We're out, in, we're out in the wild. We're on the run, dude. It's on. It's all, every person for themselves. We've decided to team up, us three. And we've used the So rat. we're... Huh? So we've... We've run away from them. What do we call that? We're uh, deserters. Deserters. Yeah, of hundred. Of our, wouldn't we? <laughs> you, 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 you. You're not staying with the pack. That's so fucking offensive to even hear that. You would one hundred. I would fight for my nation. Nope. <laughs> you would leave. I would. Well, you know what? I'd be confused. What direction? So you listen. <laughs> I would be confused at what direction to go. So listen to Gambini and fucking right Gumbellini. The only whatever. way I would. The only way I would do it is like you know. I you would go. Let's go with the with the children. I, I think this is a better way around. Let's get them from behind. 
really what we're doing with deserting. <laughs> yes. Yes. We're tricking them. We're yeah, like, we're we're guys, we'll go look. We're going to go around. Infiltrate on the behind. Smart. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> Where are we really headed? What? Where are we really going? We're, we're really going to like Boston or something. I was going to say, let's go to Mexico. Oh, yeah, Mexico. Let's go to Cabo yeah. oh, or something. Yeah, not we're go, north. We're, we're going, no, why the fuck <laughs> yeah, would we so go? Well, to, that's why I'm not the leader. Worse, yeah, I'm yeah, leader. you leader. Yeah, we're, yeah. we're going to Puerto Vallarta, okay? We're going to go to Mexico. We want to go to a beach area. Right. So that we can live. What if happen. the war's in Mexico, though? The war is definitely not in Mexico. The war is going on in Mexico right now, but it's not our war. Okay, it's not a war. This war is going on on U.S. soil. Yeah. It's on the United States and it's everywhere. And we're running south to get to Mexico, to go down to Puerto Vallarta. And let me tell you something. First night, we made it through. Rudy killed a bunch of people. She's feeling weird about it. Mm. The fire is bubbling. I'm making food. Mm. You're playing video you know, games. Bobby's are... just crying. He's crying. Why? <laughs> I, just, I feel like you do that. Yeah. You yeah just because like... I don't like seeing dead people. <laughs> That's right. I don't like war. And I imagine you drawing something in the sand, like playing a game in the sand by yourself. Well, yeah, I'm drawing a farm. Yeah, drawing a little farm. <laughs> yeah, I'm drawing doing a farm. Stardew Valley. I'm doing Stardew Valley sand version. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and I say you guys we have somebody has to stay up at night to keep the fire going who's gonna do it well she's gonna say she's gonna do it but it's gonna go out in the morning mm -hmm. yeah and guess what we freeze to death we die first fucking first night we in win. Mexico we freeze to death <laughs> on, the, on the way down in Boston maybe no on the way down we freeze to death it's oh, the middle okay. of winter okay 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 and we're naked you have to fight naked in World War 3 oh I see clothes are in you can't okay. can't do clothes yeah but naked well, I would, warfare I, we would have to pillage where are we pillaging first <laughs> Like, like, because if there's a war in the United States, I'm sure there's gonna be a Vons that's on fire. Yeah, we'll just sneak in. I think a Johns for sure. Yeah, we get a Johns right, and then I'll go. Wouldn't it be fun to? And like you know what I would do? This is how honest I am. I'd still pay for it. <laughs> I put a couple hundred dollars on the counter. You would take. You like? Do you take tap as everything is on fire? <laughs> yeah. Can you just tap. And I would get. Uh, I would get. Um, Sunny Delight. Okay, this is what. <laughs> this is the problem. What? We're in the grocery store. What are you getting for us tonight? Sunny Delight. And and. We need vitamin C. What? <laughs> what else? Oh, fruit roll-ups. <laughs> we need fruit. Yep. Because, oh, no, really? Oh, smart. oh, no, no, really? Because let me say something. <laughs> we grab bananas and apples, real fruit. They're going to get rotten in the bag. Fruit roll-ups stay on forever. Well, you know she's going to grab bananas. Yeah. Th those feet are going to grab bananas for yeah, sure. Yeah. You'll, yeah, you'll grab the bananas. I need but... bananas to poo. Baked beans? <laughs> We're not worried about poop. <laughs> but I need to poo. I mean, we all have to poo in the in the situation. Let me tell you no, something. No, but I'm always in wartime, constipated. In wartime, you're going to poo. Okay. Can you imagine the one flaw of our trio is that she's constipated? Yeah. We can't fight. She's con She can't shit. Yeah. The, nope. other, the other guys are like, come out, you coward. She's like, I can't poo. <laughs> time out. I can't poo. Yeah. Asking for a time out because you can't Can poo. Can you say time out? In war? In war? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. can. Get up They'll, there. They shoot you anyway, but yeah. you can say whatever you want. When is the longest you've gone without pooping? A week. Seven full days. Wow. Oh my That's God. Insane. You're supposed to die. No, I lasted three days on tour. She said seven. <laughs> I know. Four more days? <laughs> yeah, three is That's like insane. your body's going to. How many days can you go without pooping? Truly. I think it's, tox it's toxic, right? I don't know. Generally, you can go five days without pooping before you run into risk of serious health issues like fecal impaction, hemorrhoids, bowel per perforation. Fecal impaction. <laughs> that's a band. Yeah, that's a great fucking band. What's name. up? We're bowel perforation. Great to be here, San Diego. <laughs> fecal impaction. Five days. You're supposed to be five able to go. Days, You went for well. seven full days and you pooped on the eighth? I don't What's remember. What's fe fecal impaction? What is that? <laughs> All your poop is building up. It's like stacking on top of each other. Wow. Is that what Elvis died? Yeah. Well, he had it. Yeah. Look at that. It's the result of severe constipation. You're, unre you're unable to regularly pass poop. And then what happens? It just builds and you become... A bloated piece of shit. Wow. <laughs> you become a fat piece of shit. That's where the term comes from, fat piece of shit. <laughs> Whoa. Not because of food, because they had fecal impaction. <laughs> oh, wow. Seven days, Rudy? You got to eat fiber. I'm taking magnesium. It helps. Yeah, that, but you also have to have a lot of fiber. That's the only way you can poop. Do you eat an apple? Do you eat apples? Bananas. Bananas are good, but anything fibrous. You should eat, you should have Metamucil on something. Why can't you poop? Are you nervous? Yeah. What are you doing? We're going back to the old ways. These guys got a gift. What are we talking? What is this? Show me. Oh my God! Like the old days. <laughs> All right. Just like the old days. Um. It's a movie called Rush Hour. All right. The boys handed us a scene. Is there only two of us? There's only two. There's only two characters. All right, well, then I want to be the director. No, no, no. Why do I... I 
Bobby, you're. I don't. Why do I always have to be a guy? You're going to be Carter, <laughs> and you're going to be Lee. Okay. All He's right. Lee. You know who Lee is in the movie, right? No, I've never seen Rush Hour. Okay, so basically, you have to tell her the character. I think it'd be fun to see how she does it. <laughs> okay. You know, I'm directing. All right. So well, you're Lee. <laughs> Lee is is a foreigner who barely speaks English. Can you put it together? <sighs> yeah. Ready. Exit City Street afternoon. Lee and Carter walk down the street. All of a sudden, you're speaking English now, huh? <laughs> Sorry. Can I have that line again? That's, that's, that's a, really good. That's no, a, I don't No, like no, it. it's good. Take it one. It seems racist. That was a choice. Nope, sounds good what? to me. That was a choice. Yep. What's your choice? Go ahead, Lee. A real. Perfect. <laughs> a little my ass. You lied to me. I didn't. Again. <laughs> from the top? No, from my part. Cut. Sorry, 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 sorry. You can't work like this. How did you hire? Why did you hire I didn't. I, it's a favor. It's a family friend. Yeah, but you didn't go with the casting. Or... It's a family friend. I had to do it. It's a hire. All right. Lee and Carter walk down the street. <laughs> All of a sudden, you're speaking English now, huh? A little. A little my ass. You lied to me. I didn't say I didn't. You assume I didn't. Some sort of <laughs> yeah, something's wrong. <laughs> yeah, something's it's wrong. Like a mental thing going on. You know he's he's. I can't do Asian accent. It's not Asian. It's Wait, not, why were you doing Asian? About? You said foreign Asian. I said foreigner. I didn't say Asian. Oh no, Lee is French. Yeah. yeah, he's a French guy in the movie. Lee. Yeah. Yes, his first name is Lee. Yeah. Lee, bo Lee Bonsoir. Lee Bonsoir, you Petite. fucking idiot. Wait, but I can't do. Lee Petit Bonsoir. You know him. He's <laughs> know famous. Him. Okay. Lee and Carter walk down the street. All of a sudden, you're speaking English now, huh? <laughs> a little. <laughs> it's the same guy. It is, <laughs> but a higher voice. Go ahead, keep going. A little my ass, you lied to me. I didn't say I didn't. You assume I didn't. Hmm. Assume I kick your little Beijing ass right now. Man, I ain't scared of you. I know you, I know you know that little tricky shit. Come on. Carter starts doing karate moves. Hi. <laughs> Can you do a French accent? No. No. You're oh, you want to mimic mine? Yeah. All right, I'll do it. Why don't you read it? I'll be I'll be Lee, you be Carter. Yeah. Okay. And then she's got to do it over. So Lee okay, and Carter walk down the street. All of a sudden you speak English now, huh? <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> Oh, look, my ass, you lied to me. I didn't say I didn't. You assume I didn't. Assume I kick your Beijing ass right now. Man, I ain't scared of you. I know that, that little tricky shit. Come on. See, that's French. <laughs> By the way, they it, yeah. wrote this was in the script. Yeah. Uh, assume I kick your little Beijing ass right now. Man, I ain't scared of you. I know you ain't. I know you that little tricky shit. Man, he had a good gig, huh? Yeah, good gig. They, did, they really wrote for his voice. Yeah, they did. Can you imagine? Yeah. Who else could have done that? <laughs> Cat Williams? Yeah. Yeah. Imagine okay, Cat let's do let's do if this movie was Cat Williams, yeah. you're Cat Williams. And who 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 could Lee be? Who could Jackie Chan be instead? Well, right now they would probably hire Steven Yun. Yeah, but then it wouldn't be funny. Then it's not fish out of water. You know what I mean? Then it's just like a regular kid from America. Can we just have her version of what you just did? <laughs> Got it. Ready? Lee and Carter walk down the street. All of a sudden you speak English now, huh? A little Pretty better. Mm -hmm. A little my ass, you lied to me. I didn't say I didn't. That's French. <laughs> you assume I didn't. It sounds French to <laughs> So good, dude. So good, dude. Very good. Wow. Rudy, I'm really a, proud of you. You should be an actress, oh. man. Wow. Yeah, have you ever thought about acting? No, I hate it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Do you miss the show? I do. I feel like you do miss the show. Do you miss you? us? Yeah. You got to come to um, Riverside when we do it. When is it? June 9th. I mean, we'll have already done it when this show comes out. It'll already have happened. It, uh, okay. It happened, but you want to go to... Yeah, that, that's good. Then it won't no be a leak. Do you want to come to Riverside and open up the show? Open? You're going. God, are you not reading a character still, are you? <laughs> no. <laughs> open. Open. <laughs> What does open mean? Open the show. Go out there, introduce us, say hello, do a little bit of time. <laughs> I can introduce. Can Bobby and I write jokes for you in Riverside? Yeah, please. How I would seats love it? it. How many seats is Riverside? We're doing two shows. Do you guys even know? Yeah. How many seats oh. are there? No, no, no. I don't know. We're doing two shows down there. Let me I can tell you right now, actually. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bad friends. 
Um, we'll write jokes for you. Is, We're gonna write jokes. Wait, two shows. It's uh, sixteen hundred a piece. So it's thirty two hundred seats. Oh, that'll be funny. Be fun. June 9th? Yeah. I yeah. can do that. You yeah. better believe you're doing so it. So we're going to write you jokes. For like two minutes. I'll do it. It's going to be the longest two minutes of your life. Of your life. <laughs> yeah. But can I bring the script? Or do yeah. I have to memorize you can bring the paper script? Yeah. yeah, it'd be too hard for you to memorize. Okay. I'll do it. Cool. I'm so excited. Yeah. Cool. And Jesse will be there. Yeah, yeah. we're yeah, going to yeah. see who... And by the way, whoever does better gets to keep their spot here on Bad Friends. <laughs> yeah. It's a fight to the death. Okay. <laughs> That's how yeah. it goes, baby. That's how it goes. Tell me, tell us, the relationship's been a year now with this boy. Are you going to move in together? Move in? I don't have money to pay. Does he have his own place? No. How old is he? He's 20. And you're 21. Whoa. Whoa. That's pretty gross. Are you? Is there feelings? There's still feelings. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like because it's been a year, I'm just like always mad at him is that normal yeah 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 that's it that's very normal like yeah. i just feel like I, I hate his face right now yes. yeah yeah of course yes of course. yes that's love yeah you're actually falling in love <laughs> yeah what else wow. does he do th yeah. does he say things that really but the way he says a word what word bothers you the way he says it babe yeah babe disgusting yeah, yeah. Wanna... like any anytime he says something i'm just always angry yeah if he's like hey babe do you want something to eat yeah and then i pissed can't. Like obviously. Yeah, fucking. Oh right, right. Like, why do you need oh to God. ask? So what? Um, yeah, you're gonna be. So you're gonna him. be a great wife. <laughs> I feel so bad for him. I, feel, I just feel like empathy toward him. Now, what do you do for him? He sounds like he's very nice. Do you do something nice for him? Um, I cuddle him. Hmm. You cuddle him. Yeah. yeah. What do you mean? You just give him a nice hug. What kind of cuddle? Like you're spooning, or you're in, you're in back. You're the big spoon. <laughs> You're the big spoon. <laughs> or what do you guys? What, what's this? Who's in front of you right here? Is him. Is... Right, like so you're standing, the big student. Standing. Oh, you hug stand. You cuddle standing. <laughs> what? That's a hug. That's oh. a hug. Yeah, that's okay. not a cuddle. A, a standing cuddle is a hug. Yeah. I don't really like cuddles, <laughs> so I just hug him. So what do you do that's nice for this man? I hug him. That's the only thing you do. <laughs> you I don't like get him any gifts or anything thoughtful or do I anything got... for him. I got him a skateboard because he likes skateboards. That's mm, very nice. That's nice. Just the board or the whole trimmings? The whole thing. Okay, good. Where'd you get it from? I forgot the brand. Mm. The brand? Like a place? Didn't you get it from a place? I just ordered it online. Mm. That Don't order a skateboard online. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But you don't know what skateboard company it was? Fucking awesome. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's, nice. that's cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It, really? Yeah. That's a good skateboard. No, you did the right thing. The right thing. That's, that's really nice. That's cool. All right, I think this thing's going to last forever. <laughs> you think it's going to last forever? All right, so it's not love, and you kind of hate him. No, I love him. I just hate him right now. Do you guys say I love you? Mm. What? Oh, I really wow. like him. He's a nice kid. Yeah. Good luck to you. Thank you. I don't, yeah. I don't know if I wish luck. Well, yeah. You know, it's, she's not going to know his name five years from now. Yeah. That's you're how gonna, it works. But what if we're still together? You won't be. That's sad. No, it's not. But I like him a lot. I know. Oh, see, this is just a test. It's a test. I'm it's doing. a test. We wanted to see because yeah, yeah, he's, he's in the room right now. Come on Come out. Come on out. Bongolino. <laughs> Bongolino. <laughs> Where is he? Where's Bongolino? <laughs> All right. Is he going to come to Riverside then? You make your boyfriend come and watch you do time? Why not? No, because he he, well, he came to um, the Ace Theater and he just was disappeared, really. Yeah. He, he was shy. To... Super shy. Yeah. They're much alike. They were just leaning against the wall and just kind of stuff. <laughs> How did like, you meet this guy again? School. He was just a guy, a kid at school. Yeah. And he said, I like you. You said, I like you. Yeah. Yeah, it's cute. It's cute. He's a handsome boy. Nice kid. Here's what you need to do. Yeah. You need to help coach Tito Bobby how to get back into a relationship. I don't, I'm out. I don't want to. <laughs> he wants to get in. I don't want to get back in. Coach him. What's the, what is the key to, to getting a, uh, a partner? Don't be weird. Don't be weird. Uh-uh. Just be nice. Just be nice. And be truthful. Whoa, just, wait, wait, wait. Don't stop. be weird. Just be nice. Stop, and be stop, truthful. stop, 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 She said, don't be weird. And then Andreas goes, uh oh. I think something happened with the board. He was just looking yeah. down at the board. I, no, no, no. Why are you blushing? Kick him out. Why'd you say, uh oh? No, why? Why? Let's have a conversation. Why did you say, uh oh? When she said weird. It's I like, mean, this could be an example of it, maybe. Telling the leopard to, you know, not have... No, I don't know spots. your fucking animal analogies. 
<laughs> it's a good one. He said, tell the leopard to not have spots. Right. I don't have spots. <laughs> right. I'm a spotless leopard. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You are. I'm a spotless leopard. You, you know, 100% yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a spotless leopard. So I just want to know, you think that I'm a weird guy? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Weird. And now the truth is out there. A good weird. It's a good weird. Yeah, yeah. Everybody in this room is fucking weird. I don't think anybody in here is not weird in their own yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. I'm weird. But who's the weirdest in the room? You don't think you're weird? You look like a fucking illustration of some French cartoon or something. You don't even look human. You're like... Tim Tim. What'd you say? Tim Tim? Yeah, yeah. she's Chin Chin. He's Tim Tim. Yeah, you're Tim Tim? He loves it. Look at him. Yeah. He's high. We can't even believe that anyone would make love to you. Somebody did. Somebody did. No, I, you know what? You're a nice guy. I can believe it. I just attacked you for no reason. You're no, right. no, no, but you should have. I'm a weird guy. No, no, you should have. Yeah, yeah, but you yeah. are weird. You know you're weird. Bob, you're weird. <laughs> but like a good way. You think you're normal. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I feel normal. Right. In the world. A schizophrenic probably says I'm not. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like I, you know, when I'm about, about like, but you, you're right. I mean, t today I went to a meeting. and That's after, very normal. Yeah, but after the meeting, um. I was talking to people and people have this face like when they're talking to me. Well, they're afraid of what you're going to do. Uh, yeah, I think. No, it was an AA meeting. Yeah, they're afraid of what you're so going to do. So they're No, they, people have like this cautious kind of like, right? But I'm always, but I'm aware of it. I'm like, I'm not going to do anything weird right now. What the fuck? Why are they doing this face? At any point, did you do anything weird? No. But maybe it's like the things I bring up are weird. Like what? Hey, we're at a meeting right now. <laughs> Afterwards. What? Hey, man, thanks for sharing. Yeah. Yeah. And I said, they're not letting trans in the Olympics. <laughs> All right, man. God be with you. I'll see you later. You, you know, get some more coffee. Something like that. You know, some random, you know what I mean? That start off a conversation, you know? With trans Olympic stuff? I think maybe anything slighter. Like, do you like in and out Burger? Oh, I see. Well, I don't. Maybe you can teach me how to do small talk. Here we go. All right. I'm going to want to go real. Go ahead. All right. So we're done. Let's do uh, it. We're, we're in at a, a coffee shop. Oh, okay. We're in the line at a coffee shop. Right. What kind of underwear do you wear? <laughs> does, that, does that seem? <laughs> oh. What? I just, I don't get underwear. I like, I don't, like the underwear that I have is the underwear. What? Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> Hello, police. No, really? There's a little fat Asian guy asking people really? about underwear. Really? You can't ask people what kind of underwear they're wearing. They go to brand? No. Is Hanes good? So many easier things. All right, all right, let's start over. Um. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Okay, we're in line at the coffee shop. You know, I go, man, mm. the weather. <laughs> yeah? What about it? I just don't know much about it. About weather? About what the weather we're having now. Well, those are cumulonimbus clouds. I'm actually a, that's actually what I do for a living. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, so check it out. The participation, <laughs> precipitation we gave rate to Kate today yeah. is going to be uh, relatively low compared to the barometric pressure. Yeah. And that, what, what's really going to do is uh, sweep and swap some of the winds and come to the Do you eat wind. your toenails? Ever? Huh? <laughs> Nothing. Do I what? Do you ever eat your toenails? <laughs> In fact, I do. <laughs> Good. The guy who likes weather probably does eat his yeah, toenails. Yeah, yeah. When you ask questions like that, I just want to break up the monotony. But you don't need to. Why? <laughs> Life it's is just so boring because, you, know, you know, to hear people talking, like I, I've, I've been at restaurants, I've overheard people's conversations. And I went, I would do this with my arm. Like, what are you talking about? You know what I mean? <laughs> the best way to do They're talking about needles. <laughs> well, needles are important. Uh, what needles to do when they're sewing or whatever. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? I, I, I overheard two, you know what I mean, old ladies talking about like what fabrics they use when sewing. And I wanted to break up the conversation by going, hey, what underwear do you wear? Or <laughs> No, you don't? No, don't do that. Okay. That's what, what she's talking about. about. You get in on the joke with them. Okay. If a bunch so, of old ladies are like. Or like, I'm an old lady, and then I want to see what you would say. Okay, go ahead. So, Margaret, um, so I go to the yarn, local yarn store, and I got this new um, yarn, but it's too thick to make um, a knitting cap, right? So I, I wonder what do you use for a knitting cap? Well... Margaret. They're both called Margaret. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, Margaret, you know, I've never sewed a knitting cap before. You know I mean? Well, my grandson loves to wear, you know what I mean, these moccasins. And he got it, you know, his, you know, his dad is metrosexual. And, you know what I mean? Loves um to get his son, you know what I mean? Moccasins from the local moccasin store. Anyway, I was thinking about sewing him a moccasin. I what? Margo, what? 
<laughs> fabric deals. Well, Mark, oh. <laughs> moccasins, right? Are, they don't sew those. I mean, those are made out of like wood. And, anyway, it's not something that you would sew on a Sunday. Well, what? But do you go to the local yarn shop, Marco? I do, Marco. And I, I love Demetrius that works there. He's, he's great. Hey, ladies. Yeah. I don't know if you heard, but uh, Demetrius got fired. Oh no. Mm-hmm. They Almighty him, God, no. Yeah, they caught him yarning on the job. <laughs> Have a good day, girls. Whoa, that's a good joke. See. That's really good. And one of these old bitches is like, I like him. Looks up my Netflix Whoa, special. That's wow. <laughs> oh, see, that's what it is. That's how you get it. So if I went, do you eat your toenails? I think that's not going to land. That's not going to land. This is not going to land. Uh, yeah, yeah. We're going to get there, baby. Yeah, just teach me. I just take class. Hey, thanks for coming today, Rudy. I really, 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 really appreciate you coming today. <sighs> I really miss you guys. We miss you a lot. And I hope you keep coming back. We want to do an old school episode of Just the Three Amigos and we got it. And we should send us off into the sunlight. And he wants us to he wants us to Well, in honor of all of you. Honor of all of us. A new movie coming out tomorrow. Well, it came out last week, I mean. Yeah. And it's the Little Mermaid. I think we can sing it. Is that dialogue or the song? Joe Sebastian. Fourth? Yeah. Ariel, listen to me. The human world it's a mess. Life <laughs> under, under the, the sea. sea. Is better, better than, than anything, anything they, they got, got up, up here. there. The seaweed is always a greater in somebody else's <laughs> lake. Right, God? Yeah. You dream about... You have to sing. That's a song? That's <laughs> not him yeah. talking? It's under the sea. The song, under the sea. Oh, the seaweed is under the sea. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the seaweed is. The seaweed is under the sea. The seaweed is under the sea. The seaweed under, under, under. Have you never heard Under the Sea? Never heard it. Under the sea. No, I've Under never heard. the sea. Darling, it's better. Down where it's wet. No, I've never heard that. You've never heard this no, song. No, no. Take it from me. He's a shell, right? Or Kant? <laughs> With the little eyes? Sebastian? Yeah. No. He's a lobster. He's a lobster. He's a or a crab. He's a crab. All right. Under, why does he talk like that? They don't talk. He's from Jamaica. Oh. <laughs> I wonder, you know, just a real quick science question, right? Do like the lobsters in Japan off the coast, do they have a little lobster accent? Well, tell me where Japan is and I'll let you know. <laughs> Japan, lobster. Japan. The lobsters? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like if, you know, I mean. Putamibeka. <laughs> no. Putamibeka. They don't speak English, but would they make. I don't know. No, they speak English. Oh, they do? Okay. Every, everyone in the ocean speaks English. They say orcas in different, like, areas. They have different kinds of tones that they have to listen to. Oh, so oh that was understand. just French. <laughs> That's fucking c Congo. Yeah. That's gay. <laughs> that's gay, right? Yeah, yeah, that yeah that's a gay, yeah, gay yeah. whale. Yeah. I get, yeah, so I get it. Yes, queen. <laughs> yeah. When they make those sonic noises underneath. <laughs> yeah. Yes, queen. So what, since I don't know the song, why don't you sing it? We don't need to. Okay. Yeah, what you did yeah. was good enough. I think Rudy has to sing it. Rudy, sing Under the Sea real fast. Go ahead. Okay. Under the sea, <laughs> under the sea. Darling, it's better down there. It's wetter. Take it from me. Interesting line. <laughs> Up on the shore, they walk all day. Out in the sun, they slave away. Weird word. While we devote in full time to floating under the sea. Dun, 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 oh, I know that dun, song. Dun. That's this that's fucking song. <laughs> oh, you just have to do that part. I know that one. That's a song. Bum, bum, oh, so it doesn't sound like that then? Yes, it does. Oh. I hear that at um, <laughs> Disneyland or I don't know somewhere like that in the background. P. F. Changs they played a lot there. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Under the sea. I've been in elevators and I've heard that. I wonder what that conk thing. That's cool. No, it's under the sea where we all want to live. Yeah. One day. Yeah, we'd be dead. It's anyway. better down there. Hey, Rudy. Yeah. Go ahead and sign us off. Thank you for being a bad friend. <laughs> <laughs>